Welcome, this is the Algebra 1 end of course practice test number 3, question number 34. The question says, which equation best represents the graph of the line? Now, we've got this y equals stuff and all my answers, so I'm going to go up to my formulas page, just in case you forgot uh, which form this is probably in. You can go up to your formulas page and look for y equals somewhere over here, and it says slope intercept form. This is if you just totally forget and lose your mind on test day. Uh, the slope intercept form has a slope, which will be the m part, and an intercept. Mathematicians do not name things in clever ways. They tend to just name them in a very functional, pragmatic way, which is smart. Anyway, um, we go on to this question. So I know that it's going to have a slope component and an intercept component. So I'm going to write y equals mx plus b over here. I notice that y and x are both in the problem, so I'm assuming in my final answer they don't change. Now my intercept does. My intercept would be where it crosses the uh, y-axis. So it crosses the y-axis right cha. So it says minus 4, so I'm going to be really bold and just write minus 4. So anything that doesn't end in minus 4 is out. This is out. This is out. So from here, all I need to do is see, well, what kind of graph is this? Well, it's going up over time, so that means that, uh, that it's positive. And then I'm just going to find two points that cross kind of on the edges of these little grids that, we've have, that we have here. So it crosses kind of right on the edge here. And I've already made a dot down here, so I'm going to count my slope, which would be rise over run. You kind of have to go up before you go over, or down before you go over. I tend to think of like old Super Mario where he has the blocks. If you've ever played, um, you can't run Mario into the blocks and then jump up and he can get over. He has to jump up and then you can sort of move the stick over a little bit later, or the controller over just a little bit later. You can do this, but you can't do this. That doesn't happen. So I tend to think up, rise over run. Anyway, count up, one, two, three. Count over, one, two, so I went up three and over 2, so I'm going to put 3 over 2x minus 4. So my answer is right there. Um, if that doesn't work for you, you can always go into the calculator and graph all the answers. Um, I'm just going to graph the 1 because you probably have done this a million times if you have a graphing calculator. Uh, so let me just mark this out. I said the answer was D, so I would just turn it on first. I'd go to Y equals and type in um, 3 over 2, and you can do that as a fraction as a uh, sorry a division and then put the x on the outside then minus 4 if you want or on a t84 plus or similar calculator you can put it in as a fraction I'm going to alpha y equals and it brings up the fraction menu if you have a t84 plus color you can go to the math menu and it's all the way t I think it's all the way to the right I don't have mine with me right now but I know that it does it so 3 over 2 x minus and you'd hit graph and it should look exactly like it. When you graph it on the calculator, if that's what you're depending on, uh, you should pay very close attention to things like where does it intersect the uh, two uh, axes? So what point is this? And what is point is this? And you can you know, go into more detail. You can zoom in. You can zoom out. You can look at the table to sort of tell you if that's helpful. Like you can go into the table, and when x is 0, y should be negative 4. So it shows me that it does cross a negative 4, so I know this is the correct answer. Um, you could also go in and do some calculations for your zeros or you know an intersection, whatever it happens to be. Uh, that might be helpful, too. But just make sure you're sort of meticulous about combing over those graphs if you're going to be uh, using the calculator to get that answer, because sometimes some of them look very similar. But to me, that question was so easy to do without it that I would have not even picked the calculator up, just because the visual is drawn very well by the state. And uh, I think that the calculator would just add an extra level of noise between you and the answer. So that's it.